when OnePlus launched the OnePlus 3, it received a lot of positive reviews, but one of the things that was criticized the most was the display and the accuracy of the colors. So in response, OnePlus pushed out an over-the-air update pretty quickly right after the, the device launched that let the user enable an sRGB mode. So as opposed to OnePlus's default color calibration for the display, you, could ch you can now choose to set the sRGB mode so that colors are displayed more accurately than before. Now with the transition to Oxygen OS 4.0 on the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T, I want to show you how to enable this sRGB mode on both of these devices. So to start, you just need to launch the settings application. Then we're going to scroll down a little bit until we get to the device section. And then in here, we're going to tap on the display option. Now in this first section here, labeled the screen, you just need to look for the screen calibration option, which for me is right under the night mode toggle. So just go ahead and tap on the screen calibration. Now by default this feature will be set to the default option. And the default option as you can see is a little more vibrant. It's a little more saturated than some people would like. So all you have to do is tap on the sRGB option. And if you look at this sample picture you'll see how the colors change. Just to show you that again we'll go back to default and then when we switch over to sRGB you can see the colors are not as vibrant and saturated anymore. And we have three different photos to look at right here, these sample photos. So you can just go back and forth and see how these different modes look whenever you switch them. Now also we have a customization option here and just like you said before whenever you tap that you'll you'll see a slider that will let you make the display look more warm and then sl sliding it to the other side will make it look more cold. Now a colder display will make the white colors look a little more bluish and a warmer display will make the white colors look a little more orangish and reddish. It will also affect how other colors will look too but looking at the color white whenever you adjust this will give you an idea of what is being changed whenever you adjust that so you can play with this all you want but most people will likely switch to either a either the default mode or the sRGB mode. Now neither of these are the correct way of doing it. It's all personal preference. If you edit photos or videos on your phone then an sRGB, sRGB mode is likely preferred for you since you will want and need to see what color and tint and hue these actual colors are. But if you just use the phone like normal everyday use, then you'll probably find the default mode is much more appealing.
I personally like the default mode more. I'm a fan of Samsung's vibrant and saturated colors because I don't edit any photos or videos and I'm just not that sensitive to color accuracy. Like, of course, I want greens to look green and I want reds to look red, but if they're more vibrant, the color pops off the screen and is generally a more appealing look for me, in my opinion, than an sRGB mode, which just looks more bland. Let's go through here and experiment, find out what you like the most. Because just know you can always come back here and set it to default. And it will be as if you just pulled the phone right out of the box.